Hello and welcome to another episode of Beacon Bin Science. So today in this video, we are going to learn how we can make a graphical abstract for some renowned journal like Elsevier. So in this video, what we are going to learn, first we are going to learn what are the softwares, paid as well as uh, free version softwares, which we can use for making a good graphical abstract. And second, I'll show you a demonstration how we can make a good graphical abstract. So let's just find out some good graphical abstract so we can uh, mimic for that. Uh, I guess this one is good. So this graphical abstract we are going to mimic today. So the three main uh, software which I personally use, one is PowerPoint. Yes, you heard it right, PowerPoint. PowerPoint is one of the most uh, easiest tool for making these abstract, graphical abstract and all. So I prefer PowerPoint more than anything else. Second is Illustrator, which you all probably know. If you if your college gives you access for a free Illustrator, then it is the best tool to uh, make a graphical abstract. And third one is BioRender, which you can use uh, for making a biological abstract. So I'll show you all one by one. So first, uh, we will sh we will check the bio render software. So this bio render software here, this software you have just have to sign in for free or just sign in. You have to pay for this software, but I think it is free for uh, fifteen days or thirty days. So you can try a free version, but this. Uh, software is really really very uh, important and useful so you can see it here there's so many uh, beautiful tools here uh, through which you can easily make your biological abstract but it is uh, restricted for biological apps making for biological abstract yeah so this is a new uh, template here what you can do you can select any template from here here is icons here are brush. Let's suppose you have to uh, make a illustration for mitochondria. So just simply type here uh, in the icon, go to the icon and simply type here mitochondria. You can see lots of different types of mitochondria you can see here. You can choose any of them. For example, this I found it interesting. Just click and drop here. See how well it looked like. And now you can change the color of it. Anything like this, this, and these are all free. So you can use it for at least 14 days for free. Uh, I like this one. Okay, then this is what you can see here now if you want to make any other thing for example a uh, human being suppose this one and you have to show that in human being there is a cells so just search cell there's a cell and in that cell there's a mitochondria so like that you can show anything like graphical abstract any kind of a graphical abstract These are the arrows. So you can choose probably this one. Simply rotate it. This looks really nice. See how well it looks like. Perfect machine. Copy and paste again this to this yeah this is how you can make anything you can write here 
just simply insert text you can write here any endosymbiosis like that anything you can write here select and here you can also align it yeah and here also you can write any whatever you want so that's how you can make a good graphical abstract using biorender next what we are going to see is how we can make a graphical abstract using powerpoint so let's go to the powerpoint here this powerpoint now um, we can uh, drag and drop the, the illustration which we actually want to make this is what i'll show you today how we can make this graphical abstract yeah here so what we can see it here there's cells veins a human being and a petri dish these three four things which we have to import as an icon so if you directly import it from uh, from the google you will probably get a copyright issue so what we can search in spite of getting involved in the copyright issues and all so we can simply search for the icons so for example uh, cancer cell icon png remember the, uh, to add png png is actually uh, the images which is which don't have a background it is having a clear background so you can use those pictures without a background yeah so here simply drag and drop here yeah now you can remove if you can see here there's a background still uh, in this image so you can simply double click here and remove background yes and now uh, see there are some other this part of the uh, image which is which is going to be deleted so you can use this mark area to keep so that you can re uh, get the part of the image and get that area back similarly if you want to remove any part of the image you can uh, use this mark area to remove and you can simply remove anything whatever you want See. but i want to keep these parts so i'll again use mark area to keep yeah that's it now the background is removed you can use this image without a background this is what our this is our cancer cells now you can give uh, change the color so that there would be no copyright problem like this this looks fine yes this is our cells, cancer cells. Now we need a veins. So we again go to the images, icons, blood veins. This looks nice. I'll choose this. Yeah. So simply drag and drop again. We just put it on the top of the cells. that's it now you can merge these two by simply selecting these two and control G now these are these images are grouped after that uh, with this image now you can uh, choose any human image uh, icon so for that again check the human icon png this one is fine i guess yes we can use this here again we have to remove the background simple 
as I have told you earlier. Whatever part you want to keep, just use this mark area to keep. Draw it over here. Yeah, that's it. Now place it here. You can choose any of the uh, icon. It is just like I am showing you what how you can make it. So that's why I have chosen this. You can choose any of the image available on Google. Now you can make some correction in the image. I guess this one is fine. Yeah, this one is looking better. So this this image and now you need a petri dish final thing i'll go with this or red color Fine. track and drop now you have to align these two so what you can do select these two and format go to align align middle now both are aligned here to here we can increase the thickness of this arrow way option and here this much is fine i guess you can change the color as well black color Similarly, we can choose this control C, control V. We can change the direction like that. Same arrow. Again, control V. That's it. So now the next thing is we have to put these uh, legions for that. We'll go again in the shapes. Here there's a box. Use this. Now you have to add uh, some text. So insert text here. You can change the color of the text. You can change the color of the box. Change the position now. Same box you can put here, but change its direction, its orientation you can change. You can also change the style you copy all this these images bring it to the center of this image format background change the color suppose let's give the gray color to the background see That's how you can make a good graphical abstract by simply using PowerPoint. That's it for today. So, see you in the next video.